Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are solving the lead code problem 2537, counting the number of goods of arrays. First, we will read the problem statement given an integer array nums and an integer k. Return the number of goods of arrays of nums. A sub array is good if there are at least k pair of indices i comma j such that i is less than j and array i is equal equals to array j. A sub array is a continuous non-empty sequence of element within an sub array. So it is basically a sliding sliding window sliding sliding window problem. But how? Because it is asking a sub array and sub array has to be have to be contiguous so we can always make a window and with the given condition in the question we can decide whether to take this window or not take this window okay the question of why sliding window is clear basically if you do a lead code questions similar like this you can get why sliding window more better so it is a sliding window version let's take an example to understand how sliding window is helping in computing these good sub arrays we are taking the test case given in the question already so when we take three nothing happens when we take three comma one still nothing happens when we take three one four still nothing happens again three one four three something happened guys something happened now we have two pairs sorry two elements similar elements one pair it is this one and this one three and three but still we need two at least two we have only one so we will keep increasing the window size nothing much still one pair but now guys will increase the window size the moment of truth the moment of decision is just happened <laughs> now we have two two pairs two can you imagine guys two pairs two pairs this one these two and these two Yippee, yay, we have one R, sub array, sub array, good sub array, sorry, good sub array. Let's keep on rolling because we have the momentum. We know how the wiki <laughs> smells to keep on going. Now, this time, score is also included. What happened, guys? Something changed. You know what it is. It is the pairs. Then it is this and this. This is also a good survey. A good survey. But something has changed. He is not the same guy anymore. <laughs> now he has three pairs. Previously, he had two pairs. He leveled up. So you should also now. This is the peak. So or we can say the max length we can increase our window size. So this is serious. The max has been reached. Now what to do? There are also cases, some cases. which we can get by decreasing the size of window. Let's decrease the size of window this way. 
doing this one. B is eliminated now. We have one. Let me write the whole over. One, four, three, two, four. Something happened. We don't have three pairs, but still, still, guys, still, we are going strong. Two pairs. Another good survey. Again, decrease the size. There's no more with us, but still, we are going strong. Two pairs. Another good survey. But can we hold this streak for how long? Let me scroll to end this suspense. Are you with me? Tonight. And here it comes. And quite a good play it was. So on a high note <laughs> we have four good Let's take another example. I will be serious this time and we will just quickly wrap up. Question case 10. When there are two i, there can only be one pair. When there are three i, how many pair we can divide? NC2. Sorry, PC2. Similarly, when 5, let's say 2, and there. But we can only have one pair. Good. Alright. You can also do by this three pairs. It's not 10. We will go up to 10. Then we will have all these 5. But when will we decrease the window size? As a result of which our pair will decrease. Only one time. K, K equal to 10. Condition delayed. Moving on to the coding part. Behold. Hold. <laughs> So this is our answer. The count of answer the count of good surveys. As usual size, it is start and end. Basically, how we deal with sliding the algorithm. Pair on the pair currently present in the subarray. This is to count the the frequency of the survey element of the survey okay. here map map and comment is the nums and the value is the frequency frequency of that nums i frequency of that nums i so we will just increase if present increase the pair just normal basic sliding window here the action happens when the pair is greater than k we will add n minus n plus 1. Now let's discuss what is this. We can do this. If you done sliding window question before, you always did i minus j plus 1. But 
i minus j plus one. Let me take the example again. We'll count these also till here. Count these also where pair was zero and one. But we do not need these zero and one. These are bad arrays. Bad arrays. Bad sub arrays. Whereas we want good, good only good. So using this, we can also count. But at last we have to minus on the total number of subarrays. Subarrays minus this to get the answer. And what we are doing here is n. It is a size of some array minus the n plus one. Plus one. I don't want to tell why I did. Plus one is why because I already increased the n when the identical was present. So that's why, because, for example, at four, we had two pairs, but in code you can see, I just increase, I just increase n plus plus. So it went far ahead of that one. Plus one, five, fifth, five is five, and we, it was present at four, but due to my and plus plus it will be five minus five zero. That's why I add one. So by n minus n plus one is cleared by n minus n because take again take the example three one four three two two four. This was the first. After this, how many elements, whatever number of elements we have, we will just keep on getting more number of good subarrays. Because we have satisfied the basic condition, at least key condition. That's why. So using this, we can count on the fly. Using this, we have to minus this at the end. So choice is yours whatever you want to do and this is basically minus decreasing the frequency of pair because if, if you are decreasing the size of window so also the frequency will increase and why we are doing minus one if only one was present one minus one zero nothing because it didn't contribute to the pair if it was 2, 2 minus 1, 1 pair if it was 3, 2 because it contributed 2 pairs because if we have 3 elements, so we will have 3 pairs as we see 2 and uh, this is basic stuff because as we have decreased the size of the window we have to remove its frequency and also to increase the start that's our code and we just return our result now the moment of truth does this code run let's see yeah it does you can yourself see it is a good code I guess so what just happened I even I don't know so yeah if you like the solution consider subscribing to my channel and keep grinding no matter what is your skill so see ya bye bye